What's up guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are gonna be doing a voice over some Treasure Wars gameplay and we got an interesting topic today. I'm basically gonna be talking about the five things that I think that the Hive could add to just make their server better. And at the end, we're gonna talk specifically about Treasure Wars because that's the thing that I enjoy the most. But to start this video off, we're just gonna talk about the server as a whole and then we're gonna transition into some Treasure Wars specific things. Before we get too far into it, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe, check out my channel, you know, do your thing. And then if you wanna unsubscribe later, if you don't enjoy, I do so but just give me a shot guys but with that being said let's just get straight into it first thing that i think that they should add and this is probably the like the one i'm going to talk about the most is special limited time offer games so basically where this idea stemmed from was i know that we always compare it to you know hype to high pixel and we shouldn't but you know i'm gonna just use that as an example on treasure wars for instance or on, on their bed wars they have a lucky block bed wars that comes out every few weeks or something like that and it only stays around for like a few days or something like that i'm not really too familiar with it but basically imagine if hive had limited time games like that where you know it was sky wars but it was just you know slightly different or it was treasure wars but it was slightly different or just you know just something like that to like spice it up a little bit because i feel like when we do the same thing over and over again sometimes you know it can be really repetitive but i feel like if they change it up just a little bit by adding that like extra game that was there for like maybe even a few games uh, or a few days rather um it, it could be really interesting it could also be a great way to get people to like join who haven't played in a while who are like oh i want to join and try that out i want to try this out and see if i like it and you know what games that do really really well m they might become their own game mode an example of this that they already kind of have on the hive is the sky royale but i honestly don't think that that's what i'm like that's not what i'm talking about in the sense that that has been here for months now and it's like not going away like it, what i'm saying is like they do that with the sky royale but it's only there for three days then it goes away then if it didn't get a lot of people playing it then maybe next time they try doing something else other than sky royale but basically have trying to find that perfect game mode that everyone wants to play and making a limited time mode just so that people like have a like are enticed to continue to play you know what i mean in treasure wars this could be something like a free shop mode or something like that where basically you know i know a lot of people on custom servers do that but what if they did that for like three days and just you know saw how good it did i don't know just that's an example of something that we could do and i think it would be really good for like the community just to have something that like we can all look forward to or just have like a change of pace and on a similar route we're going to talk about something you know related to like changing the pace and that's going to be a map rotation any of us who play a lot of hive knows that when you play even like just 10 games you play the same maps almost every single time you know you'll play the same two to three maps even if there's like six or seven right and it's one of those things where like i think i play on library so i play on library every other game on treasure wars i'll be completely honest and then when i play duos i play on cityscape every other game it's just the way that it works so i feel like if they had a map rotation where they basically had let's say the maps that they have right now on treasure wars solos right with mushroom uh library castle all those ones tourists all of them that was one map rotation then they have a different one with a completely different set of maps and they basically just switched you know it does how a map rotation works and then because of that, you know, I think what this could do is just change it up a little bit. You know, you would have maps that you look forward to playing on certain, you know, rotations. You could get more excited for certain rotations versus others. And I feel like it'd be a great way, even as, you know, us content creators, having just different looking videos, you know, having maps that look different. You know, we could do like a whole like rank system of like what maps we like, what we don't. And I think that just as a regular player, you know, just having different maps that you play on you can just spice it up. And I think it could be awesome for the community. I don't don't think that hive should just add new maps and just add them on because what will happen then is like everyone's still just gonna vote for mushroom and library and those maps uh you know unless those new maps that they add are like a lot better everyone's just gonna vote for the same map anyway but if you can specifically take out those maps that everyone votes for and replace them with different ones and have a good map rotation i think it could be awesome this third one is not as fun but i still think that they should have it and that is an in-game report system as far as i know you can't actually report anyone in the game you actually have to go to like their website and report them i believe or go to their discord server and do so um at least that's what i do and that's what like the fellow like hive creators do we have like a discord server where we like just put everything on there you know but 
I think it'd be much more worthwhile if they had it in the game, just because then regular people could, you know, report players and it could just make it so that, you know, more people get caught. Because I'll be honest, there are sometimes where I see a hacker and then I honestly am trying to record or something and I don't feel like going onto the website, remembering what their name was, typing it in and doing all that. If it was in the game, I could do it really quickly and then just move on with my life. I think it could be awesome if they just implemented this. And now we're going to transition and talk about Treasure Wars specifically because that is the game mode that I main on. So like I'm going to have to talk about it. And the first thing, and this is this is near and dear to my heart, is a deeper void in Treasure Wars. I personally don't like that the minute I fall off the void, I have like 0.2 seconds before I die. You know, I like to throw ender pearls and jump off the void and do stuff like that. And the ender pearls travel so slowly already on Bedrock Edition, or at least on the Hive, that like it never gets there on time. Half the time, I like fall into the void, then the ender pearl lands. Like, let's say I'm on final life. This happens all the time. I'm on final life, I throw an ender pearl, I fall, I die. And you know what happens once I'm in spectator mode? I, I get teleported. My ender pearl landed, but it didn't have enough time for you know me to not die. It just, it's one of those things that like, I just, I really wanted to just be like, like four or five seconds long. You know, I feel like I die in like two to three seconds. Just make it just a little bit longer. All you have to do, copy the map, paste it up higher into the world. I mean, I know it's not that easy, but like, it'd be awesome if we could just have like a little bit longer of a void, like just, just a little bit. I even feel that in Sky Wars, the void is a lot deeper than it is in Treasure Wars. For whatever reason, I feel like just in Treasure Wars, you just can't like clutch and stuff once you fall out the void, you like die instantly. And it's just unfortunate. So I, that's one thing in Treasure Wars specifically that I want them to add. And secondly, just talking about Treasure Wars, Treasure Wars just needs an update. It needs new items. I have a whole video talking about it, but it definitely just needs an update because compared to when you look at even survival games, Skywards, and like survival games has more stuff going on than Treasure Wars. It has way more features, way more stuff. Like Treasure Wars is actually significantly lacking compared to the other game modes. And it's unfortunate because it's one of the most popular game modes on there. And if they added an update, it could like completely blow up and then just like surpass Skywars so much. Like, I definitely think that they need an update, whether that's just adding new blocks, you know, the map rotation thing, the deeper void, just, it's just something. It's been ever since I've played Treasure Wars, they have not updated it. And it's been a long time since I've been playing. It's been almost a year now and they have not updated Treasure Wars. They've updated Skywars, they've updated survival games. And I know what's coming. I know it's coming, but it definitely needs to come sooner because we're all eager about it. And that's gonna do it guys. That's five things that I think they should add to the hive to just make it a little bit better. Three of them are for like the hive as you know, in general, and then, or at least Skywars and Treasure Wars. And then the other ones are specifically for Treasure Wars. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you guys think about what I said down below in the comment section and leave your own feedback. What would you guys like to see implemented to the hive to make it a little bit better? But with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys have a safe and enjoyable rest of your day. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.